Hi, I'm Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com and I'm the editor of the online and free magazine The Social Paper Crafter. So on issue three we've got a couple of pieces um, filled with inspiration based on Halloween and autumn. I wanted to teach you this issue how to make a mini album as I think it's a great thing to give as a gift or a great way to save some memories of a special day. So because we've got um, Halloween and autumn inspiration this time, I thought I would show you two different, I, I thought I would show you a Halloween and then show you how to make an autumn album that you can use to save some memories. So this is our Halloween version. I've just created um, some nice embellishments on the front. And if we open this up, it is a pocket based album. So here will be a great place to maybe add some memorabilia from the day, maybe you've got a ticket for something you've done or um, just something that you want to treasure, you could stick that on the front. And then inside we have three sections which just pull out our pockets so you can store more photos here and then you've just got a little um, pull out bits that would be perfect, this would be perfect for some journaling and the rest would be perfect for some photos. So it's nice and easy, it's not going to be an album um, to treasure the whole year in but it'd be really nice if you're having a party or if you have just an event with friends or maybe you've just done some things for Halloween and you just want to treasure it. So this is the Halloween version, let me show you how to make it. So first of all we're just going to start off with creating the base. Now we need this to be 10 inches, um, sorry 6 inches by 10 and a half. So I'm just going to cut that down. And pull the arm out and get this to ten and a half. And then what we're going to do is score this at five and five inches, five and five and a half, sorry. And that is just going to create the base of our album, nice and easy. So what we need to do next is the pockets. Now I've gone ahead and pre-cut these just for ease. So, but all of the measurements are going to be on in the issue three of the social paper crafter. If you don't know how to access that, simply head over to www.createwithkaylee.com and go to the social paper crafter on the top bar, or um, you can always go to the description of this video and the link will be there. So, here are our pockets. The measurements for these, although like I say, they will be written down, are seven by four and a half, seven by three and a half and seven by two and a half. Now I've gone ahead and pre-cut the DSP because it's much easier to just have this done, um, to stick this down before we start uh, scoring, etc. So on this, on each of these three page pieces, you're gonna wanna make three scores at half an inch. So you're gonna wanna score both short sides and one long side, and that is just how we make the pocket. So just going to stick these down. Oh, so actually I want the middle pocket to be at the opposite side. So I'm going to flip the pattern paper and use the nice bright yellow side. Now that might look like quite a contrast, but because the rest of the paper that we'll be using is going to have some of these yellowy colours in, it will fit right in. And that is the beauty of using double-sided paper and a suite where all of the colours are coordinated you can get away with using some really bright patterns that you maybe wouldn't already simply because it fits in and it looks in place. Now I don't know if you're picking up the detail on this camera um, but some of these edges aren't haven't smoothed perfectly I probably should have changed my blade um, but I, I didn't so I didn't realise so all I'm going to do is when you get edges like this is use the side of my scissors and run along and just get rid of those edges. I need a new blade, so I'll make sure I get one for the next video. Irritatingly, I have a ton of blades, I just didn't realise. So there are the pockets done. Now, we're gonna, before we do anything further with these, I'm just going to finish decorating the album just so that that is complete. And I have pre um, decorated the, the base panels and the measurements for these will be on the magazine but just in case you're trying to write them down now the panels are five and three quarters by five and three quarters for the card layer and then so five and three quarters by four and three quarters for the card layer 
and five and a half by four and a half for the pattern paper layer. I find it easiest to go down in quarters when I'm working on anything, I think it gives a nice border and it's an easy rule of thumb to just work down a quarter of an inch. So I am putting pattern paper on the inside and let's see what's going to be my front cover. So this one's going to be my front, so then this piece needs to sit on the side of that. And then I've also got another piece of card stock, of pattern paper. This doesn't quite fit all the way to the bottom, but it doesn't matter because it was an offcut of what I put on the front of the pocket and you will not see the bottom because that's where the pockets will be. But this just finishes the top off. And I've just thrown that on the floor. Oh wow. I think you notice it's just this piece that I've had some issues with. So I just need to pick up the bits that I've just dropped on the floor. And then we will continue with our pockets. Okay, so the easiest thing with these now is to cut the pockets down slightly. So we just want to get rid of this square in the corner and create um, some tabbed edges. So rather than cutting away the corner nicely, we're just going to go maybe an eighth outside of the square and then we've got some nice tabs. You can keep it square if you want, but I find that you get a nicer finish. You just go just slightly to the side. Do that for all the pockets. And then before we score them, I'm just going to take my tear tape and apply adhesive, oh, I missed the corner, apply adhesive all the way around the tabs so that when I score them it is then good to go. I like to use tear tape, it's nice and easy. Tombow glue works just as well, you just need to remember that with Tombow you need to hold it for a few seconds, about 10 to 20 seconds just to make sure you've got a really nice permanent fix. So this is a great issue of the social paper crafter this time. We've got some really different, um, we've got a couple of articles in there and we've got some really good inspiration. So I do hope you check it out and as it's free, please share it with your friends. We'd love for it to go around. And if you're thinking, I would really like to be involved, please do get in touch. We're looking for some guest artists to contribute, um, whatever you want really, as long as it's paper craft related. If you've got a, a technique maybe you've created or if you've got something that you absolutely love to make and you want to share that passion or you've maybe got a story that you'd like to share, get in touch, we would love to hear from you. So now all I'm going to do is give each side a really nice firm press because you want some nice neat edges with the bone folder and then I'm going to pull back bottom half the tear tape and just stick these elements down so I've got a nice neat edge and my pockets are good to, getting good to go now. And if maybe you don't want to be featured but you've got an idea for the magazine, something you'd like to see, maybe something that the magazines on the high street are, um, aren't doing that you'd really like to see, we'd love to hear your suggestions. So you can get in touch either directly to me, you can message me um, on here on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you'd like. The, my email is on my website, createwithkay.com, or you can always head over to Facebook and join our Facebook group, which is the Social Paper Crafter. Okay, so now I've done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my smallest pocket and I'm going to take off all of the tear tape and I am just going to line it up. I like to stand these up, I find it easier. Um, make sure the edges are in the correct place and then just press down. I'm gonna do the same on the next size up. And stand this up, make sure the edges are correct 
and just stick them down. Now, before I do this, we just need to burnish the score lines on this one. As such, I like to give it a quick, um, I don't know what this is called, I like to play with the, the bind a little bit just so that I know I've got nice movement there. And then we will do the same thing, take off the tear tape. And then stand it up, line it next to each other, and press down. And then we've got some nice neat edges. Potentially should have got turned that the other way around, but oh well, never mind. And let's move on to the albums. So again, I've done some pre-scoring. Um, I've done some pre-cutting. I just need to score these. So these are our mini albums inside. The measurements start off with the smallest one is four inches by five inches and four inches by five and we're just going to score this down um so this is going to be folded in half we're going to score it two inches and that is our first then we have six inches by five inches now we're just going to score this one at three inches basically we're just folding these in half so this one is five inches by eight, so we're just gonna score it at four. So now we just need to stick down the pattern paper. What I've done is I've created, I've cut all the measurements of each layer, and I'm just gonna, so the, just going to use one side of the pattern paper and then the other side. Now occasionally I find that when you've got pattern paper, sometimes there is a side that you really, really want to use and some sides you just, you want to use both, it's difficult. So doing something like this is great when you want to use both sides because you can really make a, take advantage of both of the sides and show them off together. Now you also might find sometimes if you cut that you get a raised edge, all you do is take your bone folder and press down and that gets rid of the rays from where your blade is touched. And sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It likes to keep you on your toes. It's just going the other side down. Now for me, I think these are colours that I probably wouldn't have put together normally if I was choosing colours for myself. But I think that actually they go so well together. And I think for me, Autumn and Halloween both teaches that you can be really fun with colours and you can put colours that maybe you don't think go together and just have some fun. So if, in case you missed it, the oh, in case I didn't say it, sorry, the measurements for the patterned paper here, this is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. And we're just going to slide that in and then repeat the next level. So these patterned pieces of paper are two and three quarters by four and three quarters. Try and speed up the gluing. So if you're watching, let me know in the comments, do you like autumn or Halloween? Are they, what do you like about them? Or are you like me and, you know, summer's where you want to be? So, get these stuck down. Inside, and then we have one more to go. And you don't need a lot of glue to get these stuck. I just like to do a little bit around the outside and then a squiggle inside in the middle. and we are nearly done I love this pumpkin pattern I 
So just be careful when you're putting your DSP down to make sure that if it's got a right side up, you're using it. We don't want upside down pumpkins. And there we go. So that is the basis of our album. Now all you need to do is decorate it however you choose. If you wanted to give this as a gift, what you could do is um, give them the album as is and then give them a little pack of pre-made embellishments and then they can just decorate it themselves. So here's the finalised one. So I'd love for you to have a go making these. If you do, please share them over on the Social Paper Crafter on Facebook page. Um, don't forget to get in touch if you want to be a guest artist. And I really hope you like issue three of the Social Paper Crafter. I know myself and the other get, um, paper craft artists have been working hard over the past couple of months to bring you some fun inspiration. And we really hope you're enjoying it. So get in touch if you are. Hope you have a great day and happy crafting.